This episode of Telling Our Stories is sponsored by SayItInACard.com. If you feel it, we say it in a card. Visit us today, www.SayItInACard.com. SayItInACard.com is an online greeting card company that delivers right to your front door. Visit our website, www.SayItInACard.com. You can read the cards, order the cards, and we ship them directly to you. If you feel it, we say it in a card. We have breakup cards, troubled relationship cards, troubled friendship cards, and of course, all of the traditional cards as well, from birthday to Mother's Day. So again, visit us at www.SayItInACard.com. Free shipping for a limited time. Previously on Telling Our Stories... I've had some beautiful experiences after coming out, but I've also had moments, I've had some friends who didn't forgive me for lying. With the woman who came to you and knowing that she was straight, she had a, I don't want to say a fetish or a desire to play for a minute. Mm-hmm. So in a term, she was closeted, down low, whatever you want to call it, but she just wasn't clear about it. Those that identify as gay or lesbian, would you date someone that's, that identifies as bisexual or trans? No. Nope. I have You're no saying to, no to both, Cheryl? Yeah, no to both. That's, that's all you, you want to say? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying bi- or, friends or, or trans. Or, so I'm not going to judge them, but it's just not, it's not perfect for me. <laughs> Okay. Right. The people always say they won't date the bisexual right. people, but they are always <laughs> knocking on my door. <laughs> Do you feel like they're indecisive if they're bisexual? Um, I just decide, I say that I want you to be sure this is what you want. Because when I do find that person, I want to play for keeps, and I don't want you to think that you have an option. Uh, you have an option. But, it's not but you haven't dated lesbians who don't, know, who don't know what they want? Right. No, but how I've never dated a lesbian that was bisexual. That, yeah. <laughs> but how is, that, how is that different with... Dating a woman who's bisexual and dating a woman who's gay slash lesbian, you said, because I want to be sure that you're sure that this is what you want. How is that different in if the relationship doesn't work out with Mm -hmm. the bisexual woman or if the relationship doesn't work out with the lesbian woman, the lesbian woman has still decided that this is not something that she wanted, and so the relationship ended. So I don't see the difference. I think it's more between the two. I'll have to my issue. It's not necessarily hers. It's mine. Now, part of me will always think, like, well, maybe... She may not, she may say, no, I won't, sir. I know this is what I want. But it's always going to be a little part of me in the back of my mind and be like, mm-hmm. oh, she won't. So, do, yeah. so again, right. you think it's because... And I'm asking, do you think it's because you associate bisexuality with non-committal? Because they're attracted to both? I think that Mm. she has an option, like a a, It it opens the pool, it opens the pool. Right. Everybody has options. Right, but it's a difference. But I do understand what you're saying. Honestly, I would rather lose a woman to a woman than I would rather lose a woman to a man. Uh, now we now we're at the root. Ego. So it's your right. ego. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's an ego. Yeah, yeah. As, as a lesbian woman, do you think you could ever fully satisfy a bisexual woman? I was about to say I can answer that. For you. <laughs> Let me catch myself. I think whoever I'm with, I'm gonna fully satisfy you. I don't care if you are bisexual or not. That's just me personally. So, so mm-hmm. I know exactly where you're going with that, and yeah. I and I do think that that is the issue. Not speaking for Cheryl. Mm-hmm. I do think that that is often the issue when people say I would prefer not to date someone bisexual because they do there's a possibility that that the person that they're dating who is bisexual may not be satisfied because they obviously mean because they want something you can't give something you cannot give mm-hmm. so i would say that's probably why you can't, i would right. not you date can't. a bicycle <laughs> <Right. laughs> i don't know i mean <laughs> you can't. i yeah. mean i think that dating someone bisexual it, it opens up something that there's still another desire there that i will never no matter what i do i will never be 
a woman. Well, that, that's why I always feel like when women try to date a bisexual man, like, or they dating a man that they know is gay. Like, you, that's women terrifying. can't, there's something, that, there's a component that you can never satisfy. Yeah. And bisexuality, in my mind, is a temporary state of mind, meaning it's on the spectrum. So you gotta lean at one point or the other in my mind. I agree. So if I'm coming into a relationship with someone <laughs> bisexual, I was like, okay, how I'm leaning more towards it either gonna have to go closer to gay or back to heterosexual. I just think it, you can't tinker in that. But too the question long. is, do we live in a black and white world? Right. Right. Like because we have this thing about things need to be black and white when we want them to be black and white. So when you're talking about bisexuality and you're saying, well, you need to pick black and white, it's gray. <laughs> and, and when I'm deciding I'm choosing a person, that's black or white, right? <laughs> and, and, when I'm, and when I'm just being bisexual as my identity, it is gray and, and I can sway to either one because I'm attracted to both. So it's like, okay, well, that's the space where I feel like bisexuality is erasure because of that perception of well, you haven't made a decision. I have made a decision. It's both. And you don't accept that decision. Right. So where does right. that fit in with us? Well, I think that there's a, dis a disconnect because I don't Wait, think... Wait, hold, hold on. We all can't talk at the same time. Go ahead well, first and then over here. I, uh, uh, maybe I'm just not understanding. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that out there. But it sounded to me like you were saying when you're with a man, in your head you're a straight woman. And then when you're single, no. your mind no. is bisexual. No. That's what I'm asking. My mind, that's what no, I no, no. I my mind is made up that I'm bisexual. Who I'm choosing in the moment is who I'm interested in, who I want to pursue, and who I want to love, and etc. But but the, I, the uh, identity is that I'm attracted to both. And so the point is is that I'm not accepted by either because in your minds I haven't accepted either. I haven't made a decision. Right. Yeah. So you're, then you're I'm conflicted. left with being with uh, with neither. It's a lonely place to be. Right. It certainly is. <laughs> now I want to know those who said they would never date somebody trans. <laughs> Those who said they would never date somebody trans, why or why not? I was just gonna say, it's not, I disagree with bisexuality. I'm just saying for me, it doesn't work in, in my sphere. Right. Um, but I totally respect it. And I think for a very long time, you know, people would want people to identify. I don't want you to identify, or anyone who's bisexual to identify one way or the, I perfectly understand and respect it. It just wouldn't work, you know, in, in, for me right. as far as dating. And I feel like in our community, ladies can be bisexual. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. The but, guys about, yeah. but the guys cannot. Yeah. 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 I agree. Yeah. 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 You guys and, but, 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 but do you think that's more so because a straight woman wouldn't accept a bisexual man, yes. but a straight yes. man will accept a bisexual yes. woman? Yes. That's, 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 that's very good. That's changing. Changing. Yes, changing. So a bisexual woman yes, can only be if, if it's a fling. Let's be clear. If a woman wants to actually pursue women in terms of relationship, it's not accepted in the same Correct. way. A lot of women say they're bisexual because they're willing, they want to be curious, they're really bi curious, yeah. or because they want to explore. But when you're saying, I know I have experienced a woman, I have experienced the emotional, the physical aspect, and I know that I am both, you're not accepted because in their eyes, it's only seen as a sexual aspect when you've already dealt with the, with the mental and the emotional aspect of it. When I first got here, got to Atlanta, everybody that I knew that said they were bisexual, it wasn't they were really choosing the man. It was just my family not going to accept it. It was that kind of thing. So that's what my mindset is about the bisexual. I feel like bobbing you, and weaving between. Yeah, the things, and it's just because well, you're trying to please your family over here or whatever. Or like I had a really good friend one time. She was dating women, but she was like, "Sunshine, I'm really going to be with a man because I want the whole family to white picket fence with a man." But she was she was dating women at the time. You know what well, I mean? Whitney Houston said that in that Whitney Houston movie yeah, that just right. came out. She said, uh, Robin, we can go to hell for this shit. She said, I need to get married one day. I need to find a man. Yeah. yeah. Those that said they wouldn't date somebody trans, why would you not? <laughs> I don't want a chick with a dick. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not well, wait, 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 wait. I, I don't want to be clear. Trans, not just poster. Wait, Sam, what you say? I, I wouldn't want to go to bed with someone and it's a man with grass but still a penis it's just a lot well, for me have to come clear down surgery. Post or you well then with a transsexual period yeah. 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 sexual means you still have both parties correct, correct. Oh, not yeah. Yeah. correct. That's not for me. <laughs> no i don't want that and you said, said i like, like to go down and i like to eat this like i want i like to eat the box so <laughs> oh. what are we doing like i can't so so because you did a trans man
Because no. a trans man still has a oh. box, as you say. No. A coochie no, for those like, I like masculine women, masculine women. The best part about this, they what? masculine women is they're masculine, but they got a box. Like, but they're women, and they are they love that they're women. So, so not that you know, because you're a man. man. And no. Right. Okay. Now, she's saying she likes the body of a woman. The you know, the, the anatomy of a woman. You like the, because the, the, the trans man has, still has a coochie. Yeah, no yeah. Right. But they but don't have that right. front. But she said she likes to eat the box. But she said she likes the body of a woman. But you like the overall anatomy of a woman. You know if she's poor and all that. Right. But that she loves that she a woman. Like a woman loves that she's yes. Yeah, yeah, no, I, knew she meant. I just wanted to make sure they knew yeah, watching at home that yeah. they knew. But what were you saying you don't know enough? Yeah, like, when I when I made the decision that I was gay... Wait, I was, was it a decision? Or did you <laughs> are, when I... When it happened. Because <laughs> 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 yeah, communication is our part. Yeah, 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 is our yeah, yeah. You accept. When I accepted that I was gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I was clear about... If someone said they were bisexual, I didn't know. I didn't know about that. I didn't know what that really meant, and so I was. I wasn't interested. Mm -hmm. Or if you identified, download whatever you were straight. I don't care if I knew you were out in the gay world. If you said you were straight, bye. I need somebody. I understand what gay is, and I stay right there. I agree. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's more. Of comfort and what I know and I try not to even speak on all of these other areas because I just don't know enough right, right? right and so it's just it's not that I won't I don't understand right. I don't understand I don't know okay so I'm, with it, that do does everyone know what every letter in LGBTQ no. No. Right? No. No. okay because I think the assumption people outside of the community think we we know all of that yeah. no. right. I know everything but I intersex intersex yeah what I know everything okay, I but the plus, because that, that Well, the plus is everything. Beyond the plus is pansexual. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I don't know. It's too many things right. beyond the plus. So then the question I was going to ask, too, is what's the difference between pansexual and bisexual? I really don't, don't yeah. know. Yeah. I didn't understand. Okay, so to my understanding, because I see a lot of people that are pansexual, it means that they would date someone who is lesbian, bisexual, transgender, intersex, oh. asexual, but a bisexual will only date male, male female. Got uh, it. Thank you for oh, that. Yeah. that was, Thank you for that. When I said she hitting the day. Yeah. So, so is pansexual and queer the same thing? No. No. So what is queer? To my knowledge, it's, to my knowledge, it is the cumbersome of all of the things and how they identify people within the LGBTQIA community. I don't know the limitations of what would be outside of that to be considered queer. So, so then we're calling queer, this a queer is queer the or? umbrella and then right. mm -hmm. queer is L yeah. LGBT yeah. and queer. everything yeah. 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 falls so, yeah. under that umbrella. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's why so I queer is anything outside of heterosexual. Correct. Okay. okay. And so that's why I'm learning now to start okay. using queer because I don't know if you identify as bisexual or if you pansexual. So queer and gay are the same thing. No. No. no, no, queer no. is everything. Queer is everything. So, what so is queer gay? is the overarching. Yeah, yeah. Right. Queer, yeah. Yeah. queer is the overarching. Queer is the overarching. It doesn't identify with the sexuality, period. Right. It's saying that's the definition. Doesn't it doesn't correspond to an established idea of sexuality and gender. What is that? So it's that's queer. It's right. just right. saying right. everything, everything right. under the umbrella. Yes, yeah. everything yeah. under there. Yeah. So gay is for as a yeah. identifies as a male. male. So mm -hmm. someone who could be a transgender and a bisexual and like have a gender would be considered queer. See, that's too much to keep up with. I got too much shit to do at work. Most, most, people, most people do consider gay to be male. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Right. Gay is male. Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you believe in monogamy? Yes. 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 Do you believe in monogamy? Yes. Yes. Okay. Has the number of couples who have open relationships increased or do you think the number of couples are just, that, that, that are participating in open relationships have just become more open about it. I think, I think it's more traditional. They just put a label on it. Yeah, I think yeah. it's increased. I think people it's just don't talk about it. I think it's increased. You think it's increased? Think well, it's, I think it's always been there. They were called yeah. swingers. It's yeah. just yeah. now it's called open just, relationships, relationships yeah. but they were swingers. I think Every people are, more just, are just more open about it. Yeah. I think, I don't know if it's increased or not. I just think people are more yeah. open about it. I think yeah. more people are getting more comfortable. It's the idea, so that's why it's increasing more and more. Right. I would say it's both. 
I would say yeah. that people have found a label for it, but it's increased a lot yeah, because it's it wasn't this level of people desired monogamy at some point, mm. and now, I mean, in, especially in my generation, about monogamy, right, but talked they about weren't it. necessarily. So monogamy yeah. went down yeah. because yeah. open relationship. Yeah. Monogamy was harder, so open yes. relationships went up. Yeah. Well, because you hear more people say, I do at least hear more people saying. Well, everybody's not wired to be monogamous. I don't think that, I think monogamy I is attached to marriage and, it's a lot you know, of this, that, and the third. So have. I'm just curious, because I do believe that there are people who are wired to be monogamous and there are people that are not. No, I think I'm some, you know what I mean? I think some people are just wired to just be kind of free and just, you know. But I think that people show up to a dating experience or a relationship saying that they're monogamous, knowing they are not yeah. and I personally believe that whatever you're looking for is also looking for you so yeah. if, you, right. if you aren't monogamous then why say that you're monogamous right. so if you're free what's the point of being in the open I don't think somebody not just be yeah. I don't think they've done enough work to that's really good. figure that out spend enough time alone yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they just go with what the norm is yeah. and, and, and what you what think they, what they think you want to hear yeah, yeah. I think yeah, they say they're the monogamous time. when they know yeah. they're not to increase their op their opportunity of the dating pool they have a wider dating pool because if you go into the dating pool saying that I am not monogamous your selection is going to get very narrow because people are going to say you're a whore I don't want to fool you well, I'm, no, 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 what, no, people I, say, what people say is alright I'm cool with that but then they they, they aren't exactly. right. right that's what happens I right? think, no I'm cool with it and then it's like Right. I think we all need to do a little work on ourselves to determine what it is we really Ooh. want. Yeah. 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 And and we, we need to get rid of what we were taught oh, yeah. Yeah. and then we can be real honest about what it is I desire for that's me. That's good. And stop dating based on what we think our friends and family is. Correct. Yeah. That's, that's the good. biggest and thing. Society. And society. And, society. Yeah, yeah, society. Society. and that goes the, beyond this conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Where, what do you want out of life? Yeah, Where do you yeah, want to yeah. be? Everybody, yeah. I don't know. Do you, you can tell right everything. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's a lot of work we all got to do. In Correct. Our lives. Yeah. That's good. Period. Outside mm -hmm. of. But in this the me, I think the problem for me, what, but what do I do now? Yeah. Like as I'm still trying to figure out my long term thing and my tenant, what? Do, how do I be happy right now? Like, do I have to be on hold until I figure it out? Ayala Van Zank. Like. We'll call in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs>
going in, right? This is where I am, right? And if you decide to come, okay, but if you think that's going to change, right, you should not go into it that way. How right? are contradict that? Now, there are some holes out there. If right? I try to find myself and I'm connecting with people, that's spiritually, that's what I think. That I'm with people. I think that's gonna affect me in that way. So you're saying should you be dating while still trying to find yourself? That's the mm -hmm. question. You but that's ask. the problem. People think that dating is a relationship. Right. Most people right. don't know how to date. date. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just because you date, I mean, you got to have sex. And that is the biggest issue with people. We think because we went on a few yeah. dates and had a good time <laughs> that we're <laughs> now headed into oh, yeah. a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, we get caught up in the you. fantasy right. of right. it all. And again, that goes back to that childhood shit. Yeah. We need to figure out the peace of mind is what's priceless. We think it's the accoutrement and the and the mate and the partner, mm -hmm. but what is bringing you peace of mind? Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah. haven't quite figured that out. And the conversation, you gotta have the conversation because people have different perceptions of what dating is. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. needs to be a conversation in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But, the, but like, it's still, it people who yes. will have that conversation and people and will say, being. yep, yep, I'm with you. Yeah. And then, and then it's like the what family happened? emotions get involved. Yeah. Right. But then, right. it's, but then right. it's your responsibility exactly. to cut it off when you realize. That, Is it though, your right? responsibility? Yes. Yeah. When you realize yeah. that, why would you keep doing it? You realize yeah. they're feeling more. Like no, stop. I, I do well for me. Just for me personally, I can't <laughs> speak. Great, for, that's a great I can't, area, great I can't speak for anybody else in the room. I think for me personally, I have a responsibility. If I'm, you know, if I was dating someone and I'm clear that. This is all it's going to be. It's not going to be anything else. It's not going to materialize into anything more. Um, my behavior needs to line up with that. Agree. And if I see that the person, you know, is falling, again, for me personally, I personally have a responsibility to save them from their self, from themselves so when they... Yes. But they, a lot of times, are don't those people do that? claim so that they are with you on the same page? Oh, no, I get it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not caught up. No, I don't... No, yeah, but, but you can. But then when you, but but, but then when you, when you go back and start having the conversation that aligns more to align more with, hey, we're supposed to just be dating, yeah. and so this doesn't come with that, and and you see that. So, case in point, someone once said to me, you know, but you never invite me to go with you when you are going and hanging out with your friends. Mm. Right. You're right. You're exactly. Right. I'm not going to because, <laughs> you know, this is not that. Right. You know, so it kind of goes back to sometimes a person may be on board, That's true. but then feelings or emotions yeah, start yes. to come and, into and, it. And, and, and you do have, not acknowledge it, right, but you do have to set that boundary. Yes. Right? You have to set yes. that boundary. Exactly. Okay. Now, yeah. Yeah. I, I completely agree. We're not here. We're not doing that, right? Yes. And I think you should and, stop and, it. And, and, I and you should, I should, you should probably yes. set it. Because if you got to have that conversation with, you know, when we talked about this, if we got to have that, go, revisit that, no. Well, that's okay. you have to you're revisit it. You can't, sure. you can't time it when they get there. Right. So you know, because you like, you're telling me to stop yeah. it, but I ain't never there. You are. Mm -hmm. So when you need to stop saying, okay, well, Cheryl, I want to stop this because I'm falling for you. So to save myself, I need to leave out. So you, so you're saying you will continue yeah, even see, though I, you I see just, that they're yeah. falling for you and that's not where you are. You I don't think that, I don't you have to get to they're falling for me. I just think they still enjoy enjoying the same quality of time that I am. Just because you, you feel some kind of way, that don't mean I am. I think that's selfish. Yeah, I don't I like just, that. I, I feel like this one. Because then it's going to get worse Look, later. It's going to no, get worse right. later. Right. If you don't do it, if you don't do it. You yeah. just stayed in and knowing that they wasn't ready, you yeah. kept pushing them up. Yeah. I think you have to move with the space that everybody's move feelings and thoughts move, change every day. Yeah. And like, I think that when we wake up, we think about how our feelings and emotions change every day, but we don't think about how we're gonna have to move with that with others and how they're gonna have to do that with us as well. Like we only think about, well, I don't feel that way today. So this is how I'm gonna move. But you have to think about the other person that you said, whether that was temporary or permanent, that you cared about, that you been spending this time with, et cetera. Like you owe that to that person. And that comes down to someone's morale, that comes down to someone's um, respectability and you can't, 
dictate dictate that for that person. So. And, and if you were in their shoes, yes. how would you want them to handle you? To handle you. Yeah. Yeah. The mental health is big, so when you play on people's feelings in these days, yeah. they might kill you, your mama, you, your brother, yeah. they might take it out of your car. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. I just don't play with people because I don't want anybody to play with me. Yeah. Now, why on the surface does it feel like or seem like lesbian relationships tend to have a longer lifespan Ooh. than gay male relationships? <laughs> I can't say. Yeah, because they, they slip in. Wait, who's they slip the, the the relationship you start hanging oh. out. Back to the point. Oh, so you've right? been duped. And it, no, <laughs> not, not duped. No, not duped. Like dude. you're enjoying it. And because it, it's it, comforting. it becomes a relationship, right? And then, you know, it just continues. And sometimes. Relationships seem to sustain longer. They're women and they're men. I, no, I think they just go industry. with the flow. I think they because they don't. Around. Want, yeah, yeah, they turn into, and yeah. people don't want to hurt the other person's feelings and yeah. say, our time has come to an end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I do yeah. believe yeah. that that yeah. becomes yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you for your service. service. Thank you for your service. Who looks up more, lesbians or gay men? Ooh. Ooh. Gay men. The more I <laughs> <laughs> Now, the kids. Now, the kids. Now, you know, what I would say is like, back in the day, I'm like, oh, the boys are tricky. Boys are all the girls are tricky, too. Hooking up becomes more of the boy. Yeah. yeah. Now, are there hookup apps for lesbians like there are for gay men? Yes. Are there? No, I don't know. Oh, Match.com, it's all, they got they the are, same, they got both sides on there. Match.com. I know they are. I got you. I don't mean like the ones I where it's straight. I just said, I'm not familiar. I'm not like, yeah, I don't have a Adam for Adam. We don't have an Adam for Adam or a grinder or nothing. Oh, I don't know. Really? Like, every shot. They haven't built a woman's house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't mean the apps that are universal. I mean, are there apps that are specific for lesbians to go on to hook up for sex? No, to hook. Don't they got like plenty of shit? That's not legit. That's not legit. Most of the time, you're just Lesbian gonna end up. Apps, but, not like it's but you know for specific. sure the Adam for Adam is. Right. That's a targeted audience. Oh, that's yeah, where that's it's Jim Bug is right around the corner. Yes. Let me go. Yes. Oh, yes. I don't Why know if that is. Right, right, right. Wait, what did you say, Monica? On make this right there. Put his penis up. Right. 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 Yeah, see, I don't know if women do that. Because, you know, in the way that, like, gay men will sometimes, not all, will sometimes utilize bathhouses or the park to have sex, anonymous sex. Do women do that? If so, they keep it a secret. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not, I'm not to my that. knowledge. Yeah. They have an app called Zeus. Z-O-O-S-K. What is it? That's a Zeus. lesbian? That's Z-O-O-S-K. A lesbian. Is it a hookup? It's Zoop. There's Elite Singles, E-Harmony Match. What well, uh, E-Harmony is? E-Harmony is yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're talking about sexual yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't think I would be the same person. That's what I'm saying. Straight. Right. I don't, honestly, I don't think I would have accomplished as much. I don't think so either. You yeah, know, to be honest, because I look at like some of my family members, and I was like, ooh. I wouldn't have the people in this room who I spent a lot of time with. I've seen the world because of them. Mm -hmm. I look at my straight friends who I hang out with. The view of the world would have been more limited. It would be more limited. I've, you know, things I like, I mean, the, from food to culture to music, you know, yeah. I think because I was gay, I got more exposure to those things it's, and it's, more exposure to people. I don't know. And, and I think just as I'm much as me. No, right, yeah. right. As you say that, I think on the other side of, you know, heterosexuals, we can see and probably have friends who have a very full life, mm -hmm. you know, so. I, I feel like I would probably still be in Ohio. Oh, wow. I would have never moved. <laughs> um, today, I probably would have been cutting the grass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he Ohio married with his with wife two kids and a yeah. yeah. so, 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 I do think now for me, and we can continue to go around the room, but for me, I um, I would definitely choose to be straight. I'm clear about who I am. I'm okay with being who I am. I've accepted it. I'm okay with being black and all that other stuff. But I just believe that if I was straight, if I was born straight, I think I would have had a smoother life. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that straight folks don't have turbulence and all that kind of stuff but I think I would be married now and probably have two or three children now I do think on the other side of it I don't think I would be as creative as I am I definitely wouldn't have written the books that I've written I wouldn't have written stage plays that I've written I, I think that we live a fuller brighter life but just with all of the trauma that comes with being gay and the trauma that you experience within the community with other people who haven't dealt with their their stuff um, I think relation, and again, I don't think that, I do think that straight folks have challenges, especially black women, in dating black men. But I think that similarly, black gay men have similar challenges in dating other black men um, because of the societal pressures. And then you add on top of that, um, the, the conflict, the battle, the internal battle. Like, I just think that I would have had a smoother journey, not a happier life, but a smoother mm -hmm. journey. Um, but I do think that we are God's most gifted and talented people. Mm -hmm. I think the queer community is the most gifted and the most talented people walking the face of the planet. Period. Hands down. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I would like to go with the last. I saw I'm with Sunshine. I love here, but I don't. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't say. I think it would be. You know, when I first came out, I was always like. Or people came out, I would like, chest, the same thing over here, that over there. It's just all women. And that's, to me, that was my experience. Like, when I dated men, the drama, whatever, it was, you get drama over here too. Mm -hmm. It's just all women, you know? So I don't know if my life would be, of course things would be different in my life. But I was still moving here, so I don't know how it would have been when I came as a straight woman, you know? But I don't know. I feel, But I love where I am now. I don't know that it would be, I, and I don't know if it's different from a femme point of view, you know what I mean? That could be different too. Cause listen, I get hit on by men all the time, but not by nobody's daughter, <laughs> but somebody's son all the time. Uh -huh. So I don't, I don't know, but I, I know I love it where I am now. So I'm good. I'm good, Keon. <laughs> um, I would, I would definitely choose to be gay. Me? I think I'm undecided. Um, I think I feel like a lot of the trauma and problems I have are gay based. Um, so, if I could avoid that, I probably would have. Like, I understand, obviously, like you said, straight people have their own issues, but I think for me growing up in, like, I'm 30, so growing up in this time, if I could go back, I probably would choose straight because those problems seem more the things I could handle. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think I'm still undecided though. I'm like, hey, it's been a fun journey. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I would trade it. I don't think I would Um, yeah, I kind of answered, but I guess, yeah, I would stay by and even probably be lesbian, to be quite honest. Mm. Um, just in the fact of, like, I'm at a place where I don't consider outside opinion, and I'm actually able to sort through what I actually want and... If I could do that then, I think things would be a lot differently. And I wouldn't, like, to his to his point, it wouldn't be, there's always issues with whatever decision you make, but 
those issues would be a lot more comfortable because I wouldn't be this chameleon or be sorting through what other people's thoughts were. Wendell? I've been over here pondering. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think that gay is my superpower. Oh, oh wow. That's right. Yeah. I like that. That's right. Now, I mean, when I think about what I offer the world, it's all because of being gay. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyone have your yeah. Um, I don't know what I would choose, but I know that I am happier in my life mm. being gay. And, and so I would say that. I wouldn't necessarily know if I had to choose one or the other back then what, what I would do. Yeah. yeah, I'm the same way. I'm, I'm very comfortable with where I am. I, I'm, I'm loving the life that I'm living, and I, I wouldn't change anything. Miss Monica. Yeah, I, I don't have any regrets with where I am in my life currently. Yeah, same with me. Like... You know, somebody got to show these youngins <laughs> what this look yeah. like. What this yeah. look like. And last but not least, wonderful Sam. I, I would choose my bisexual self. I love the freedom, the interpretation that I get to have to define me. And I don't think I would have had that as a straight woman. Mm -hmm. Ryan, I you, you afraid me. You yeah, said, said okay, Ryan, what you Ryan, yeah, I went already. Yeah, Ryan went first. Ryan first. Okay, that's what I said. I didn't skip you. You and Craig said what you said. Thanks, Craig. Thank you. Oh, I'll, stay, I'll stay a straight man. I'm, I'm, I ain't never questioned it. Never questioned it. The, the, the last thing I was just going to say, are all hearts and minds clear? Anything else anybody want to say? I do have one point. <laughs> Uh, there is a film, a site called <laughs> Film and Leslie for Leslie. Oh. Listen, thank you all for being here. I appreciate you for taking this time to have this conversation again. I hope that something that we said will heal and and, and resonate with the people that, that see this video. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for joining us for the first season of Telling Our Stories. Please be sure to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be ready for the next season of Telling Our Stories. Hi. Hi. This is, this is, no, this is oh, no, 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 I thought it was for someone. But hey, I want to give you that same love. Chi Chi's across the world. What's going on, Chi Chi? I call it Chi Chi. They were out here putting together the table at the barbecue. No, me and Daniel did these. Ryan did help put together something. <laughs> Oh no, that's a feat. Where were you? Listen, listen, listen. And listen. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, okay, we're gonna lock it. Yeah, I'm gonna lock that. Oh, I need to. Uh, I got it. Oh wait, somebody. Yeah, that'd be me. I'm not really interested in straight men because y'all don't clean y'all ass well. Oh, oh, no. No. Yeah, I didn't say that. Please don't put that in there. No, we gonna put that in there. <laughs> <laughs>